Hey, welcome back to another video. My mission or my passion is actually to tell you why I think Bitwig is great. And today is no exception. I want to talk about the transient control, which is a transient shaper inside Bitwig Studio and what you can do with it. And let's dive right into Bitwig and I'll show you what I mean. So um, on the right side here, I open just my browser and I drag in some random drum loop because we need drum loop, it's easier to explain. So drag this in into the arranger and it creates a track for, for us just automatically. Close the browser and just look into the audio file. So we can clearly see we have some percussion elements, sounds inside the audio file. We have maybe a kick drum here, a hi-hat, and this is probably a snare drum. So what's a transient? A transient is um, a drastic change in volume inside an audio file. So we have some quiet parts here where there's no audio and then a snare drum comes and there's a drastic change in volume. So this is recognized as a transient by the transient shaper. And the transient shaper now for itself splits this audio event into two parts. In the first part is the attack phase and then comes the second part, which is the tail phase or the sustain part. And when we apply a transient control here on this track, so let's hit the plus button and go for transient control. We see we have two parts here, the attack part and the sustain part. And we can change the volume for each part individually. So we can remove the attacks or we can remove the tails of the transient. So let's um, try out how this sounds. So first start with removing the attacks. Or dial it back. This is the original sound. And remove the attacks again. So you can remove pretty much the energy of a drum loop. You can also uh, re reduce the sustain part, the, the loudness of the sustain uh, phases. Which gives the drum loop more snap, okay? And you can also push the sustain or push the attacks, but you get it. Um, we have also some timing uh, values here where we can change the actually uh, f uh, length of the phases. So when we have this here as a transient maybe, and this is attack and we change the timing, we can make the attack phase longer or shorter. Also with the tail phase, we can make the tails um, shorter or longer. So we have full control over the recognized transient. We can make it louder, the attack phase. We can make the attack phase quieter. We can make the attack phase longer and so on. But with the whole uh, modulation system of Bitwig Studio, we also have modulation handles here and we can do a whole lot more. So we can add in the FX box here, uh, for instance, an amp device, which gives us some um, distortion and when we dial back here the mix knob uh, we can add the amp device only on the sustain part so we use the sustain handle here activate it and modulate the mix knob of the amp device so what we do now is the attack phase comes nothing happens it goes straight to the amp device without processing and this is then the sustain part comes and it actually modulates in with the mix knobs, mix knob the amp device. So we have only distortion on the tail part or on the sustain part. And we also have, of course, to dial in some of the, some drive. Um,
we can also use an EQ here and dial in some EQ settings only on the attack phase. So we use the attack modulator here and raise the gain of the high band. We can also apply an EQ and just put an EQ on low cut on the tail face at the end when the kick becomes more boomier. So dial this in. So as you can see with the modulation system of Bitwig Studio and just this pretty generic device, this transient shaper device, you can uh, apply so many different uh, effects you can't do with other transient shapers because they are in a VST environment, they are in a box and you have to rely on the developers of the VST instrument to actually yeah, integrate some additional effects. But with Bitwig Studio, you get a small blocks of uh, devices and you can combine them and yeah create much more interesting effects uh, it's also pretty great to actually um, yeah design kick drums so when we have the kick e-kick here and like all bitwig devices most devices are pretty basic and simple so uh, a lot of people say the e-kick device, yeah, it's great, but I need more control and so on. But if you combine them with different with different uh, Bitwig devi devices, then you get much better results. So let's add the transient control here and add an amp device just on the sustain part. And maybe an EQ also for the attack phase. Add another one, just for the tech phase. So this is the original kick here and with the transient shape on all additional effects you can yeah make the uh, change the kick sound pretty drastically. Another great way of using the transient control is to combine it with the FX containers. So we have our drum loop here, original drum loop on this track and we add an FX fx2 or 3 device which divides our audio signal into three bands 
and we only want to have the transient control on the midband. And we can shape the transients only on the midband this way. Maybe add also a transient control on the high end here. Just and on the low band. So this way you have full control over which band has which transient control and you can decide uh, how you treat your transients in different bands and different timing situations. So you have full control over everything. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Remember in Bitwig Studio you have to uh, combine the devices to create much more richer and complex results. Um, it's designed that way. It's not like in every other DAW where you have like one solution, one device, and it does everything. In Bitwig Studio, you have to combine the devices to make exactly what you want. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you liked the video. Um, subscribe to the channel or even subscribe to Patreon. There's a lot of new content coming up, projects I want to share new libraries with sounds and presets and so on only for my patreons so if you stay want to stay up to date then subscribe there and yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye